Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you have a, you've had a great week. Today's Thursday, the 16th of November, and I hope you're having a good day. I am so happy because it's cool down here in Arizona. We actually had some rain last night and this morning, but it's not cold. I mean, it's in the 70s, which to me is just heaven. I'm so happy the heat is gone. I hope you have a nice weather where you're at. Now today what I have is a review from New Craft Day. They were kind enough to send me these items for review. I've done reviews for them before, but it's been a while, so I'm really glad to have them back to the channel. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, if you could hit that like button, that would uh, really help me out a lot as far as getting YouTube to push my video out there. And thank you to all my subscribers. Really, really means a lot to me that you subscribe to my channel and you watch my videos. Please leave a comment down below. These companies want to know what you think about their kits and they read the comments. So if you like them or if you don't like them, please it, it, please let them know because it's the only way they're ever going to get any better, right? All right, so let's get going on this. I have two kits and an accessory, so I will move these out of the way. Now... Turns out that both of these kits are from that new manufacturer that does floss drops, and yeah, there's no fighting it. I guess that's just the way it is now. But I just thought this picture was absolutely adorable. So let's get it out of the bag. Sorry about the noise. It just can't be helped. Okay. So there's the floss. I gotta show you this picture. I saw this picture and I just thought it was so darn cute. Look at that, it's a little piggy in the sunflowers. I thought it was just precious. I know it has nothing to do with Christmas or Thanksgiving and I think that's absolutely fine because if I start a kit now for Christmas or Thanksgiving, it's not gonna be done. But I can look forward to the spring, right? And even though the sunflowers are a fall flower, I just think this is just the cutest picture. Now this manufacturer, does their pictures really big, which I'm really, really happy about. And I will put a picture up on the screen if you're having trouble seeing this at all. Big pictures are important. You, Because it has nothing to do with this pattern, if you have a cross-stitch log book, you can cut this out and put it in your log book. It would be perfect. Though it is, yeah, it's pretty good size, right? Very nicely printed pattern here. Now these are the directions. We've all seen these before. They just put it all on one sheet, not nothing separate here. So we've got great directions on how to cross stitch. Your pattern is gridded with up here, it tells you it's an 11 count and the product number. If you need to find a spot, um, those grid lines make a big difference. This is 30 colors, which I think, I think for this picture, that's good. But, wow, look at how many nice big areas there, there are where you can just go to town. And there's that cute little piggy there with the beautiful sunflowers. Very clear, easy to read, not too small. Good symbols. So we have our legend on the side. Tells us the floss number we need, the DMC code, and the symbol that you'll find on here. Now when we look at the actual fabric, they're going to match. Your symbols on both are going to match, which it makes it easy easy to understand if you have to go back and forth. This fabric is surged, so it's not gonna unravel on you. And it's got a, a nice feel to it. I mean, it's stiff, but it's not too stiff. Hey, baby, come here, come here, come here. Sorry about that, she just woke up, so she wants a little bit of attention. Okay, yeah, I like the feel of this. It's just a different feel from a Joy Sunday or any of those other kits we get. So you don't need to put this in a hoop. Go ahead, scrunch it up, bend it up. It's not going to hurt anything. The only thing that's going to hurt it is water. Let's see how clearly this is printed. Now I think it's printed really well. The colors are dark. And if you can still see this after you've stitched that square, don't let that bother you. Don't fret because it'll all wash out in the end. And then you'll be left with your beautiful stitches. 
So yeah, this kit is great. Let's look at the size of this picture. I'm going to have to turn it sideways here to try to get a good measurement. It says it is 140 stitches across by 212 stitches up and down. So let's see, vertically. It's about 19 and a quarter inches across and horizontally. Honey, okay, 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 you're fine. If I didn't let her in here and I had the door shut, she would be howling, howling like a banshee. Almost 13 and a half inches across. Very nice kit. Now this picture is $9.61. New Craft Day is having a massive sale right now for Black Friday. I will have a link down below to their website. I will list all their current promotions. I mean, depending on how much you spend, you get you get it. Even if you just spend $2 worth, you're going to get discount in your cart. We have a toolkit here. I think if you spend 60 over 60, you get two free gifts. And they have not just cross stitch, but they have diamond painting and paint by number and scrapbooking supplies and yarn and crochet, all kinds of stuff. So we've got our toolkit here. Here we go. I thought a piece was missing. We have our threader. We have our adjustable thimble. And then we have our puffy ball with our five needles in it, which would be the right size for these. So standard little toolkit. Just wish they'd start adding a few of those little snips like they do with the AliExpress kits. Okay, so that's nice. Now let's look at the floss. Indi uh, separately bagged, which I, I love that. We've got our product number on the outside so you know that this kit goes, or that this floss goes with this kit. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Now here they're on these floss drops. You know how I feel. I'm not going to get into that again. But for those of you who've never seen them packaged up like this before, these are your DMC codes. So 356, you would look over here on your legend. You would see that 356 is color number three with that symbol, with the U symbol on your cross stitch fabric. So anywhere you see that U symbol is where you're going to stitch this color. And this is three strands that you'll use. This is the floss is six strands. You'll take three strands out and put that in your needle. Now you could put these on a binder ring. You can actually go, if it's easier to, for you to look up by floss number, just this 356 is number three. I would just write a big old three on it. And that would tell me that this is the color for number three. It's just, I think, easier to look up these numbers than it is to look up these DMC codes. You can put them all in order. And like I said, put them on a binder ring, and that way they're easier to find. The colors in this are really pretty, actually. We've got a lot of, like, how would, what is this color? I would say it's like skin tone, almost. It's like such a a mauvey, light, pinkish color, all kinds of pinks and golds for those sunflowers. We've got greens. We have some maroon. I just don't want to mess these up because it'll be awful to get that in. Now, I was curious about this background here, which is number 6598. I want to see what it is. Oh, here it is. So it is this very, very light turquoise, and they give you this much, so I guess that's all they figure you need. So this will go in here in the background. Beautiful color. I love that color. We've got all the sunflower colors here. Put that back in order. Very, very pretty. I just think it's the cutest little picture. I know people that collect pigs. This would be perfect if you know someone who loves pigs or who breeds pigs, or who has pigs. It's just so cute. If this picture was on a t-shirt, I'd wear it. And I don't even have pigs. 
but I just think it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to throw that toolkit in with it, and we're going to check out the next item. Okay. Get this folded up. Such a cute picture. I really like that. Okay, you know how I am about my scissors. So they had scissors and they are $3.64. You can't beat that with a stick. They are beautiful. I'll post a picture. You can see all the different colors these come in. These are iridescent. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all different colors like a peacock. And they've got big holes for your fingers. Nice and sharp. You can use these for sewing, for embroidery, for cross stitch. Great size. Really great size. I want to see how long they are because I know if any of you are traveling and going on a plane, there's a limit as to how long they can be. These are four inch scissors, so I think that is actually the limit for that. But very, very cute. Like I've told you before, there are all these stores, these online stores that sell these things. Compare your prices. Find the best deal that you can. And I think $3.64 is pretty good for this. Really good. These are really nice scissors. And I, I get a lot of pairs of scissors because when I do giveaways, I like to try to include scissors in the bags of kits that um, you all win. So, yeah, those are really nice. I like those a lot. Okay. And then the last kit I have for you, I thought was kind of kind of different. That's what I try to look for is, you know, kind of different if I can, possibly can. Looks like this is by the same company. And this one is, let's see if I can get it open. It is a quill pen, a feather pen. A big one. I think this would be beautiful to put on the wall in an office or in your home office or give to somebody who writes. I just thought that was a really, really pretty picture. It's got the wonderful instructions down here. It's an 11 count and there's your item number. Very important to keep track of that and not lose that in case you run out of floss or you have a problem with your, with your fabric. But yeah, look at that. All this yellow is B5200. We see that over here in the legend. So once you stitch up this feather and you rinse everything out, it's going to be white anyway. So really, I would only worry about stitching the feather. I wouldn't even stitch this background. You could spend a month just stitching this background. So it has the wonderful big picture. Gosh, I just love that. Nice, clear printing, very easy to read got a lot of confetti, but I would expect that with a picture like this. I just thought it was really pretty. It's got the turquoise little gem on it. Very, very nice. Let's look at the floss. We've got this, the toolkit with the puffy ball and the needles and the threader and the adjustable thimble. This kit is $12.25 and it measures 190 stitches by 190 stitches. So it's just short of 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So it's good size. But you won't be paying $12.25 for this kit with all the specials they have going on right now. So here's all this white. If it was me, I would just set it aside. Look at all this white for all that background. And I would I would keep this floss and use it for something else. I would set it aside. Look at all that white floss. My goodness. And then these are the colors of the feather. So we have a lot of tans and browns and blues and turquoises. I was trying to get some of those out. That's really, that's just such a true turquoise. What, what is that? 518 DMC code. And then we've got dark blues, we've got rusts, and a lot of tans. I love these colors together. I think that that tan and brown and blues just look, maybe some creams thrown in there too, just look beautiful together. But very soft floss. Very, very nice. I just think this is a pretty kit. 
Yeah, this will be nice to do. After the holidays, I think. Honey, honey, okay. Okay, after the holidays, I think. So here's another one, a little straggler, and another one, a little straggler. I guess I dropped it. See, that's the thing about these. Boy, you gotta hold on tight, or they just go all over the place. And they're not in any specific order either when you first get them. You've got to put them in order. But yeah, I would be writing down this number on these and going by that number instead of having to look all these up like that. So yeah, this is a beautiful kit. I would like to thank New Craft Aid for sending me these items for review. I'm very, very pleased. And I think for the money, they've got really good quality. So I will have a link down below for these kits and for their website so that you can go check them out. Now is the time. If you're looking for new kits to do um, or even as gifts with Black Friday next week and all these stores having these huge sales, now is the time. Out of the whole entire year, I think you're going to find your best deals and your best prices. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you like it, and if you do, hit that like button. Have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.